to K. Nicole After Dark. Hello, how are you doing? Let me just prop myself up a little bit more. I don't want to bring the stand down any further, but I do want to prop myself up. So I hope everybody is doing well this Wednesday. It's hump day. It's the middle of the week. I hope y'all are doing better this week than I am because I was about to a few people today. Not gonna lie. Um, so I was in a very type of mood. So please. If y'all can, show some love, buy some badges, you know, help a sister out. It's always appreciated. Um, what else is going on? Make sure June is almost up, okay? And I need for y'all to know that the Cane of Cool experience is not something that you need to sleep on, okay? It's a 30 minute massage if you're not doing the haircut. It's a 30 minute massage. You're gonna, you're gonna enjoy it. I'm not gonna lie, you're gonna enjoy it, you're gonna have a drink, you're gonna have a free gift. It is something to definitely experience, so definitely make sure you do. Thank you for getting the badge. I appreciate you getting the first badge for the evening. Thank you very much. Um, also, if you are not a subscriber to my OnlyFans, definitely check that out. Um, if you cannot see the OnlyFans, then you can do the subscription which is, you know, a little bit better for budget, okay? Uh, next, to let you know, for the month of June, I have been having my hair oil. Always keep your crown straight. Um, you can get this. It's still 20% off, so definitely make sure you check it out. Um, it has, like, a great qualities in it. Coconut oil. Um, Jamaican black castor oil, jojoba oil, great stuff. So definitely, definitely check this out. It's um, able to be purchased on Etsy. So let's get into the topics tonight. Let's get into the topics tonight. Um, I do apologize again. The dogs are going through something, so they're here. They're here. The dogs are here. So hey, thank you for every tuning into Candy Clock the Dark. So. The first topic of the evening. I hope you guys aren't going to answer. Hey, what's going on? Beautiful. Hope all is well. I hope everybody, everybody is doing well on this Wednesday, like I said. So the first topic of the evening, right, is I was having a conversation with a friend of mine. And it went, it was regarding um, basically... How a relationship is going downhill, right? And like warning signs, right? And we discussed how there doesn't necessarily have to be warning signs in the relationship for things to go to be going off the rails. Okay, so that's the first thing I want to talk about tonight. The second thing I'm gonna talk about is the importance of an apology. How that and how apology, just a simple I apologize or I'm sorry can make a big difference. And thoughts on sharing bank accounts, right? Whether you're dating or you're married, the whole bank account issue, right? And concern. So let me get my first sip on for the evening. Mm. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so as I stated, it doesn't have a relationship has many layers. It's very complicated, and every relationship is different than the next. Correct. So that's what we first need to realize, and everybody's different. But you have to be clear, okay? With every relationship, there's not always going to be warning signs like the clear-cut warning signs of the fighting clear-cut signs of the distrust right snooping through things um there's not always going to be the objects of you know hiding things or there's just oh my goodness i'm sorry that's why i'm so not 
This is gonna be the last time you guys are with me. I can't even take this anymore. Like, I really don't like it. You guys are messing up my flow tremendously. So, it doesn't have to be necessarily uh, anything traumatic happening. Any, like, you know how you have like a critical moment? It doesn't necessarily have to be a critical moment for somebody to step out in the relationship. There can be just a calm before the storm. Now, for instance, you think that a person, you know, needs to argue to cheat. That's not really necessarily. You can really just be bored. A person can just literally just be bored. And that be enough of a reason for them to step out the relationship or being too comfortable. I just want people to realize that there doesn't have to be necessarily negative things happening. Life could be going on as normal, you know, but there could be just that person feeling, you know what, I'm bored in my relationship or I don't feel I'm getting the attention I once received, you know, and they're not voicing this, you know, they're not sharing their innermost thoughts with their partner. They're keeping it inside. And that's the worst thing that you can do, right? That's how it sets up. That's how you're setting yourself up to kind of step out of the relationship that you're not sharing with your partner anymore. You're not really telling them what's going on in your mind, in your, in your personal thoughts, right? Because if you were to discuss that with them, maybe, you know, they'd have, they'd have something to say, you know? Um, and they would probably be able to somehow maybe rectify something before you started to step out. I personally feel like I don't see the reason why a person can't say like, I'm not feeling appreciated. If you don't continue, if you continue to show me that I'm not appreciated, I will step out. And it's not a threat. It's just saying that you are a person that has needs and you're going to seek out your needs somewhere else. Um, and that can be like you just breaking up with them or whatever case might be um, for, the, for that point in time. Because I don't believe in cheating. But I do believe in saying, you know what? I'm taking a break from this because I'm not receiving what I need to receive. I'm going to go find it somewhere else. You're more than welcome. You know, people can always come back to the relationship or whatever case may be. But in all instances, you're supposed to communicate how you're feeling. And when people don't communicate, that's how things go awry. So, again, you don't necessarily have to have the FUs and the whole, you know, something being off for it necessarily to be off in a relationship. Like I said, a person could just be not feeling appreciated, not feeling wanted, and they meet somebody at work, somebody walking down the street in the neighboring apartment, and they should start building up a friendship and it can go from there. However, however it progresses um, is you know on the individual. But basically what I'm saying is, is that it doesn't have to be y'all back and forth arguing for someone to be like, you know what, I'm thinking about going going left, going somewhere else in the relationship. So again, I always encourage everybody to communicate with what's going on and how you're feeling so that you can rectify that because, I mean, you didn't go choose to be in a relationship just to leave it. I mean, that's a waste of time and energy. And like I said, I encourage dating with a purpose. So um, yeah, so again, have regular conversations with your partner talk to them and if you feel like you want to step out in the relationship or you're feeling where you know you're no longer getting for having your needs met then you need to you know obviously share that so that is the first thing um the second topic of the night that i'm going to discuss is the importance of just saying I'm sorry, I'm apologizing. Now, I thought of this, right, because I was very angry today. And I'm gonna tell y'all a brief, brief story real quick, right? So I'm driving on the Northern State, headed home from a long day of work, going in and out of medical offices, cause you know, um, well, you don't know, but I'm gonna tell you. My full time, like I said, I'm a therapist. In real life you know um, I'm working in psychology mental health 
substance use and um, I go to different hospitals and offer my services and so on and so forth so I'm out here you know doing the Lord's work and I'm driving and I get into this lane and this woman like totally I'm paying more attention because she's not even looking my way she's like this as she's going in to um into the lane and she nearly hits me i i move out of the lane she gets in front and she and what she does is go past all the way to the far far left lane and i'm like the fuck why first of all why aren't you paying attention is this is it's busy as hell over here why aren't you paying attention so i honk my horn you know, to tell her that, like, what she did was messed up, fucked up. Um, and instead of showing any humility, she proceeds to give me the finger. Now, I don't know about the rest of y'all, because I'm still learning my, my entire elemental background, but I am a earth sign another earth sign and a fire sign baby Sagittarius rising and she had me at zero to a hundred in no seconds flat and she brought the beast out of me that I had a glass bottle in my car that I wanted to fucking chuck at her motherfucking windshield that is how tight I was when she flipped me off. Because instead of apologizing, instead of saying, you know, oops, my bad, whatever, you want to flip me the bird. So I'm like, I got a bird for you to flip, okay? I got a bird for you to motherfucking flip. You flip this, okay? You flip this, okay? When I bust out your damn windshields, enjoy that, okay? But I had a friend on the phone. I had a friend on the phone and they were like, please, please don't do nothing. Don't do Don't throw anything out the window. Don't throw anything out the window. So I had to, Nirvana Trend says that's what Sarah Tagetarius does. <laughs> Yo, I was, I was livid. I was completely, entirely livid. So yeah, I, when I get mad, I, or when I feel offended, I want to be destructive. I'm going to become very destructive. Nirvana Trent says, we got to talk, sis, because us tourists are really batshit crazy. <laughs> really? Word? I mean, that might be a, a, a portion of it. It might be a portion of the tourists and SAG mixing together. And, yeah. The screw not too tight. Not, it's not all the way in there. So, yeah. I was definitely... I was, I was, I was frustrated. So, but I'm saying, right, in just that instance, if she has showed some humility, I would have been cool. I would have been like, okay, you know what? She acknowledged it was her bad, but she didn't do that. She, like I said, she proceeded to flip me the bird and that had me escalate, right? To the point where I wanted to cause physical damage to her car. Um, Nirvana Trent says, we got to know how to control that shit, sis. Working on it. Working on it. Like I said, <laughs> had I not been, had my friend not been on the phone with me, I can't say that I wouldn't be in jail right now because, like, yo, I was about to beat that bitch up. Like, facts. Like, it wasn't even a joke. Like, I had stopped my car. I was like, you know what? I'm going to put the, the, the parking brake on this bitch and just, like, lose my mind oh thank you thank you awesome thank you i appreciate that so how you doing girl every i hope everything is good in your world because over here it's, it's nuts it's a little cray cray but um <laughs> running around and said don't go to jail i'm serious like she had me like my friend was just like, just stop, just stop, just don't do it, just go home, just go home, just continue driving, just go home. So, it's like, fine, I'm going to do my best to do that. Not even 
a whole 20 minutes, I run into another jackass driving. And he want to go mad fast around the curb. And like, why are people driving all fucking crazy? I know it's the summertime, so people want to drive stupid anyway. But that shit is just crazy. Like, yo, have some common sense out here. People are dying left and right due to car accidents. Be smarter, you know? But whatever, whatever. So anyway, going to the back to the point of this story is that apologies means so much in this world. If you mess up and you be like, Bae, I'm sorry. I apologize. I didn't see how that affected you. I didn't know how that was going to affect you. And I just feel like people need to really acknowledge their, their fuck-ups and just say, you know what? My bad. I'm sorry. And that little small bit of acknowledgement that you messed up is in, like it changes everything. It takes all the wind out of a person's sail when you say, you know what? I messed up. I'm sorry. Up oh, if he's gonna bother you. Up. Oh, if he's gonna bother you, then get up here. Oh, gosh. I will. But um I think I did see it and yeah, we're on. So, um, so yeah, I believe that, or not even believe, it just extinguishes a whole fight, a whole argument if a person just acknowledges what they did wrong. And they were like, and it really be heartfelt, not saying, well, if I upset you or something like that. No, not any bullshit apology, not any fucked up apology, just a straight up. I messed up. I'm sorry. My bad. I'll do better next time. That's it. And that will extinguish anybody. Anybody that's like, Rah! and ready to like, give you all that energy. All you have to do is say, you know what? I'm sorry. My bad. I didn't mean it. You know, um, it was a bad time for me or, you know what? I'm sorry I was being inconsiderate. I was being this, I was being that, you know, whatever it is, but an apology can make such a difference. And I don't think people acknowledge what just saying my bad, saying I'm sorry can do. So definitely think about that, you know, when you get into your next argument and everything like that. You just want it, and you just want the shit to die. You just want it to die. Then just say, you know what? My bad. My bad. So that is the third now we are on to the third topic for the night oh bye everybody's doing well this evening again thank you for tuning in to Kena Cole After Dark if you have missed any episodes you can definitely go to YouTube Kena Cole After Dark and check out any of the past episodes that are there um be sure to check out on Etsy, the crown and beard oil is now 20% off for the entire month. And again, take advantage of the Kena Cole experience. It is bomb. You get a 30 minute massage, deep tissue, the works. Oil down, all that, you know? So let me know. Let me know, DM me. And for those that wanna put uh, the Kena Cole after dark experience, um, they can get the topless massage. And that's a uh, hundred. But that is what is currently the case. So if you want a deep tissue massage, topless massage, hit me up, DM me, get your canicle experience on. You get a get your drink on. That come with vodka, Hennessy. And, of course, your free gift once I finish with your massage. So, DM me. Let me know. Um, so I can get you loose like a goose, you know, and feeling good for the for the future week ahead. So, let me know. Um, actually, I did it for someone, and they were like, you can do this every month if, um, if you can. So, hit me up. 
hit me up. It's worth it. Like I said, it's 30 minutes to 75, but if you want the uh, topless massage, it's 100. Um, okay, so the third topic of the night, third topic of the night is finances. Should you have joint bank accounts? Now, I was talking. Y'all need to chill. Stop. Stop. You know he doesn't want you on his face. So, um, the third topic for the night is shared bank accounts. Should you do it? Well. Hello. Good evening. Good evening again. Thank you all for tuning in to K. Nicole After Dark. I'm your host, K. Nicole. For anything that you've missed, you can always go to K. Nicole After Dark um, on YouTube to see in the past episodes. I was just letting you guys know that I have 20% off my hair oil on Etsy and that my K. Nicole Experience Massage is still available for the rest of the month of June. 75 for a 30 minute massage, 100 for a topless massage. So let me know, DM me. Um, Okay, so the, just to recap, the first topic of the night was, oh shit, I forgot it that quickly. The first topic of the night, the first topic of the night, oh yes, was when to, to that argument doesn't necessarily mean that things are going bad. They can be going bad just because the person is bored and they're complacent and they just want something different, okay? So, again, to recap, you don't have to be yelling and screaming at your partner for them to be doing dirt, okay? Or for them to be stepping out of the relationship. Everything could be cool. You could think everything is peaches and cream, but it's not peaches and cream on their end. They're bored. They want variety. They want whatever they want, and they're not expressing that to you, right? They're keeping it to themselves. So... Night Angel Exodus says, calm before the storm. So yes, exactly. It's peaches and cream. They're not saying anything. They're not doing anything that you know of. And then it just blows up in your face that your partner has been cheating on you. And you're like, I never saw this coming. Well, you never saw it coming because you didn't see the signs because it doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to argue or there's going to be some kind of drama. That's why men lie. Laugh out loud. Clef Music says, well, I don't know. I'm just saying that things happen. I'm, I'm speaking off of someone else's experience that went through it. And I thought that it was good for a topic because people think that you need to be fighting and arguing for there to be um, a, a negative presence in the relationship. And that necessarily have to be. The second um, recap of was that apologizing, that an apology can go such a long way that saying I'm sorry can distinct extinguish any anger that a person can possibly have because you're first saying I'm sorry right you're saying I can do better so um so yeah so the third and final topic is should you and your partner, whether married or dating, have a joint bank account? What do y'all think? Should sharing caring or separate but equal? What y'all think? Minds want to know. Inquiring minds want to know. Night Angel Exodus Presents says, Yes, it can. A software can eliminate wrath. Yes. Yes, that is true. Both. Hmm. Okay. One together, but also separate ones. Okay. So basically, um, let me see. Uh, lame. I want to make sure I say this correctly. Lame Shim Mosley hair. Lame Shim Mosley hair says one one together, but also separate ones. And I believe we're all on the same page here. 
I believe we're all on the same page that yes, I agree and encourage that you should have a, you can have multiple accounts together and separate ones because each one should have its own focus, right? So you have your joint account. Most relationships have a joint account for paying bills, right? But you can also have a joint bank account for when y'all have to, when y'all want to travel, right? So a, a travel account, um, Mr. Lanier 88 says, if y'all went into a house together or a business, sure we can have a joint account, but I'll keep my own account and she should have her own too. And Angel Exodus Present says, I agree with Lamisha. Okay. Well, yes, like I said, we are, it seems like we're all pretty much on the same page and that's awesome. That's awesome. You guys are by no means putting all your eggs in one basket and also saying we're not living in fear, right? To be able to have these two things. So... Joint bank account. Uh, next, Angel Exodus presents says the joint account can be for a purpose. Yeah, they're both for a purpose. They're both for a purpose. The joint bank account is for you, for you guys, maybe to pay bills for y'all to be able to put into travel, right? Then you might even have a savings account. Then you have your separate accounts, right? You might have your separate account for um for your own personal bills that you just have for your own stuff, like waxing account. Where are you going? My dog is all up on the couch. Where is he going? Where are you going? Oh, she's taking. I wish I had known that. I would have done it. Oh, gosh. Here we go. Stop. Stop. So, um... I wish you would have told me. I would have done that. Oh boy. Anyway, um, the joint account. He probably needed a bathroom break. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> definitely, definitely. So okay. So joint bank accounts for necessary items, right? Because you guys want to be able to build and connect. But again, you never want to put all your eggs in one basket. A person should have their own money. You know, um, there's nothing like when there is discourse and you realize I should have, would have, could have. And I hate when we have that, that mindset of the should have, would have, could have. So if you have, listen to your first mind. And I always encourage everybody to listen to your first mind. You know, um, it's definitely, it serves you. It serves you. And you should go into a relationship always having your own. I don't understand like, you know, people saying we can build together, which I don't I don't disagree. You can always build together, but I feel like you should come to the table with something. Okay? We shouldn't be building everything for you. And I came with a job. I came with a car. I came with finances and you came with absolutely nothing like and we have to help you build like that's that sh shouldn't be the case and that's not cool so i don't encourage that at all um so yeah i agree y'all yeah i agree with y'all we all agree on one accord that there should be accounts for separate things and you divvy it up and it shouldn't even be and it's something that shouldn't be where it's um hidden right they should be able to know that you have your own bank account and not be threatened by it you know because some people are threatened by it, like oh how much money do they have saved or how much are they they are they okay i'm gonna bring up because i had um a personal experience right i was talking to this guy and he was he was rushing the relationship he was he was like totally rushing the relationship but he was like, oh, we should have joint bank accounts together. And I'm like, um, okay, what, why? And he's like, oh, because we should be, you know, working on, working towards something together, building together. And I'm like, okay, okay. Um, I can put some of money in there. And, and he's like, well, why don't you have a full account with me? You know, 
if you put all your if you, if you if you're all in and I'm all in, then that's less likely for somebody to leave. And first of all, I don't really think that should be the mentality anyway. Like if you care about and love somebody, then you want to be with them. And if they and if they do leave, that's just part of life. You know, Cleft Music says that's the reality of the world, though. It is. It is the reality of the world. People are distrusting. People are scared that, you know, their spouse is going to run off and leave them or something like that. But the only time it's important to have joint accounts is when, like, really when you're working towards something. Like, you're trying to buy a house. You're trying to go on a vacation. You're trying to get a car. You know, and y'all are like actively working towards something. Otherwise, I feel that there's no reason why you can't have your own account. Why you can't have your own money. Everybody should have your own. Because, again, as a woman, I'm a help me. So, I feel like my money should be separate anyway. Because when I need to come to the rescue, when, I, when it's time for me to have to put on my cape, that I got you, babe. I got you. So, in my, and I mean, y'all can, y'all have, may have a difference of opinion, but I feel that a man should cover the major expenses of the home, like basically the, the dwelling that we live in, and the female cover everything else, you know? Um, and some people don't like that. I mean, however it works for you in your home, you know, I'm not here to say that one works better than the other, that's all however anybody wants to work it but it kind of does work in that facet because the man is supposed to be the caretaker he's supposed to be your covering he's supposed to be the protector so he has to make sure that the home is a home that it's it's there that it exists okay and she will follow up with everything else and i truly believe that um the man's the head the woman's the neck so she should have them, you know, and having that separate bank account does that because you know why? Um, you never know. You both could be poor money managers and dipping into that same account until you're both negative something, you know, because it takes work to be able to say like, and, and actually be able to communicate because you have to say, oh, babe, um, I was looking at these golf clubs. They're like $700, you know, um, she might that she might say, "Oh, we don't have seven hundred dollars in the account. We don't have seven hundred dollars in the account. So you got to figure out a, a different way. You got to find figure out something else." But a lot of times people don't communicate, or they still have the mindset, "Oh, this is my money. I'm putting my money into this account," and they're both dipping into it. So there has to be a trust factor when doing this joint account stuff, anyway. To be able to have a clear communication and let somebody and let the other person know what you're spending money on. And that's why I feel like you should have the separate account. Because sometimes I don't feel like I should have to address every purchase with you. If I buy a Hermes bag, that's my business. Because it was with my money. And maybe that's the Taurus in me. I still got some growing to do, I guess. But yeah, like if it's my money... And, we're, and the bills are being paid and everything like that. Mine, your money, boo-boo. We're married, but yes, I bought this with my with my money. I'm feeling like I needed to treat myself. I treated myself with my money. And the bills are paid and taken care of. So I feel like that is where it is. Um, my angel exodus presents how help meet, yes, and the man should be the covering. Um... I'm not asking, I'm buying. <laughs> and that's the whole thing. That, yeah, some people are just like on this, I'm going to spend, I'm going to spend, I'm going to spend. Now, especially if you're the same the same kind of person. And for instance, I'll go into it that the guy that wanted me to have the joint bank account with him was a spender. Now, right, because he likes lavish purchases, right? Between me and you and the rest of the world, he spent $300 on this thing that it counts your breath like you turn it one way and it's like um an hourglass and it you just keep on breathing till it closes and then you turn it around and then keep on breathing till it closes and i'm like you spent how much money on that 
He's mad at his purchase. But I would be livid at his purchase if we had a joint hanging out. Because I'd be like, what the f you spend that money on? Who, 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 who told you to do that? How is that smart? So, and we would have been broke. Because I like to spend my money on food. Okay? I love to spend my money on food. I like going out to dining experiences. So, yeah. We probably, you know, when you go through the, the statement, you would see that it mostly would be food. Like, damn, she spends so much money going out. I like going out. I like spending time going out. That is my, that is my, um... Just, just, just fun. I don't, even, I can't even call it anything else. I just enjoy it, I like going out to eat. So, um, you have to know who you're putting your money together with, in all instances. And I just, uh, so I feel that just having a joint account, you just have a joint account, is stupid. Have a joint account, put money in it, have it towards a purpose, have it towards a goal, and again. Have your money to the side because I believe everybody should have their own. You should come in having something, having your own table. Seriously, I come with my rectangle, you come with your rectangle, and we got a full on buffet table. Like, like, let's get it, let's get it. Generational wealth, let's get it, you know. And that's how I feel, you know, we, that we should be able to do um, as a people, and that should be what you're doing um, just in your relationship trying to build so moving this summer save up to 30 percent off until july 10th visit pods nice kind of commercials At Amica, we provide so more than what time is it is this 10 39 oh we still have plenty of time left um but not gonna lie i'm probably um gonna wrap up a little bit early because i am tired it was a very stressful day like i said didn't really eat when I did eat when I got home, I, it was after all the frustrations and everything like that. So, this is why I'm with y'all. Because y'all put my wine down Wednesday, you know. My wine, my jazz, and then maybe a little toky toke. A little smoke, smoke, and then a little baby bye. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah. But I think all three of the topics that I've covered today are super relevant for everybody right now um it's the same if even if you're doing it with friends like sometimes friends want to take these big vacations and big trips and stuff like that be mindful that you're putting the money in you're not taking the money out you know um because it's, it's you're, you're trying to reach a, you're trying to reach a goal you know and that's the whole thing if you have the goal in sight it's easier to save the money and so i encourage everybody um, with their finances, getting it together. Because we want, we want generational wealth out here. We're black people trying to make it. You know, I want everybody, I'm praying for everybody to get to have a 600 credit score or better. You know what I'm saying? So, that's what I'm trying to get us to. 600 or better, baby. 600 or better. That's what I'm saying. So, we don't get there. We don't get there. Keep on fighting. And being true to ourselves, knowing who we are, and letting people know that into the world. Because the thing is that people be playing games out here. People be playing games and not being their authentic selves and not being true to who they are. Like, I try to be as authentic and as honest as possible. And sometimes I be questioning that shit because I don't want to hurt nobody's feelings. You know, I know... I mean, everyone, I mean, in the Bible, they said that the tongue is the sharpest thing. But for a woman, our tongue could be super sharp. And I already know that my tongue is crazy. It can do crazy things and it does crazy shit. So, you know, I gotta be, I gotta be mindful. And so, it's important that we, you know, that I say the right things to y'all. So I want to put I want to put intent into the world. I want to put good things out here. So again, thank you for tuning in to Kena Cool After Dark. If you've missed anything, you can definitely check it out on YouTube um, for these episodes that you missed. If you want to check out my OnlyFans, definitely go check that out. It's awesome. If you can't um, subscribe to that, check out my subscriptions. 
is dope. Um, my hair oil, check it out. It's crown and beard oil. has a lot of natural ingredients. It's nothing but natural ingredients and fortified with so many minerals. Like, it's great. Like, you see the health of my hair right now? Like, I'm going to do a close-up. No dandruff. No nothing. Just clean scalp and long luscious hair. So make sure you get that. Okay? Make sure you get this. Okay? No dandruff. Keeps your hair, helps with moisturization. I mean, now, don't get me wrong. Water helps the best, okay? But to help with the strength and flexibility of your hair, AKYCS. Like, my hair is strong, y'all. My hair is strong, like, you can pull it. Mm, mm, do me right, do me right, do me right. And pull on it, and it'll be good, because why? Because I got this right here. This shit has helped my hair so much, so definitely check it out. It's on Etsy. Um. Okay, let's see who this person is. Who? Let's see. Okay. Do that again. Do what again? Pull on my hair. No, but I'm just saying my hair is nice and strong. My hair is nice and strong, so yeah. But look at it. It's great. It's healthy. That's the number one thing. So definitely check out my hair oil if you want healthy hair. Again, my Canical Experience Massage, Massage, Drink, and a Free Gift, 75, Topless, 100. Um, what else? Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for the advertisements. But um, again... All I can say is, you're funny. All I can say is, is that if you want positivity, you're gonna have to put out positivity. So again, do unto others that you would have done to yourself. Okay, that's what I'm gonna leave y'all with. So continue to do right by yourself, continue to do right by others. Because of course, you want to always Keep your crown straight. So what time is it right now? It is 1045. I'm going to bid you guys adieu. It has been beautiful, but I'm going to leave y'all on a note saying that y'all are great. Y'all are wonderful. You are a blessing to be here and continue to have a righteous and wonderful and prosperous week. Um, again, watch any episodes that you've missed and um, support your girl. Buy a badge, buy a gift, whatever you do, just just show your appreciation for the work that I'm trying to put out here. So thank you very much again, and above all, always keep your crown straight. Have a good night. Cheers to y'all.